The process of endocytosis is what today's question is going to be about, and it's a five mark question. Once again, starting off with the definition, what is endocytosis? So endocytosis occurs when a molecule is taken or brought into um, a cell from outside the cell. So think of it as gobbling up um, something. It's so the first step. Well, first thing that we have to talk about is that the molecule to be endocytosed needs to be close by. It's got to be close by to the cell that it's going to be taken into. So we can write the molecule to be endocytosed moves close to the cell membrane or moves adjacent to the cell membrane. So after we have the molecule to be gobbled up, after that comes close to the cell itself, then the cell membrane kind of moves around it so to, as to bring the molecule inside. So the cell membrane surrounds the substance to form a vesicle and that the molecule travels inside the cell um, within the vesicle and this is the transport vesicle. So that's the second step. Now we move on to the third step. What happens after it's been brought inside? So we have a molecule which is inside that vesicle. It's able to be transported, and now it actually is transported. The vesicle moves through the cytoplasm into the cell, and it can move to an organelle, or it could move into another structure as, as required. Now, a couple of uh, interesting points that um, are actually noted in the answer scheme is that um, the outer layer of the cell membrane uh, actually becomes the inner layer of the vesicle. And think of it just as opposites. So that means that the inner layer of the cell membrane becomes the outer layer of the vesicle. And these are two points which are so easy, so easy, but they'll give you two marks each. So if you can remember the, this uh, when you're talking about endocytosis as well as exocytosis, you could get a bonus two marks. With endocytosis, um, endocytosis is a process which is active. It requires energy in the form of ATP. So we should write that as well. And finally, um, the last point I'm going to talk about, we need to talk about an example. So one example of, um, of endocytosis is when white blood cells actually bring in foreign material, foreign pathogens, for example, and they engulf it and destroy it. And this is how the body protects itself. So this is how I approach this question.